Hi friends, welcome to a quick review on the Osaki massage chair. This is uh, something we purchased recently. Um, the whole unit comes in three separate boxes, as you see. Uh, there are just the biggest box. This was really, really heavy. Um, I think in this box alone is about 190 pounds or so. Uh, let me check, check on the side here. Um, so it's the Osaki Pro Maestro. Uh, as, as, as you see there, you know, the, the color that we picked is brown. Those are the various colors it comes in. You have black, brown, beige, burgundy, uh, toupee or taupe, I don't know how to pronounce that, navy and pink. Uh, the unit itself is made in China. No surprises there. Most of the stuff these days is built there. Um, the Osaki brand is a Japanese brand from what I understand, but they have been in the US market for quite a while. Uh, so anyway, without further ado, let's get the unboxing going um, and we will see what this chair is all about. So we are going to tackle the first box, which is the smallest box of the lot. And this one I believe is going to be the 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 piece that goes in your on your feet or at the bottom so let's see what what this contains yep as expected this basically contains the So this unit, as I said earlier, is, is brown in color, but the exterior plastic, um, and it is plastic, it's not metal. Uh, this is uh, seems to be fairly, fairly smooth. Um, doesn't have any wrinkles or anything. Um, and I see that it also has this accent color, you know, on it, which is like golden brownish hue on it. Um, okay, so this is the. The piece that uh, where your feet goes in right here and there are some airbags built in so we'll see more of it you know once we assemble it together but uh, this is what the first box can open the second box and i'm not sure exactly uh, what it contains i think it's the side panels um so these panels right here i think that what it what it contains but uh, we'll open it up and and see shortly here Okay, so the second box does contain panels of, of some sort, it looks like. Uh, so there are two pieces. Yes, my assumption was right. Yeah, I actually see that it does say side panels, so, on the box. They seem to have done a fairly good job of packaging it. And so far, I don't see any, any signs of any transportation damage or anything. Well, let's keep our fingers crossed. There is a control in here. Yeah, and this one actually contains the remote control as well. And it's a wired remote control too. This is uh, the second panel.
So we got out this piece and the first side panel. It also has the same, you know, color on it. So it's basically a dual, dual color. And yep, this is the second one. And as we will see more in detail once we assemble this thing together, um, it has these shortcut buttons as well. So you don't need to use or reach out for the remote control all the time. It looks pretty sturdy. Um, so far, I like the build quality on this. this is some kind of an elastic. I don't know where it goes. Um, and I see that there are some hinges right here that I think just to slot in. So we'll see how tricky or, or easy it's going to be to install this thing together. But uh, if you look at the stitching and everything, so far, everything seems solidly built. It is plastic inside. And this looks like, uh, doesn't look like, um, you know, it's going to take any big punishment or anything. But I think uh, for, by the looks of it, 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 it seems to be decent, uh, sturdy plastic. So anyway. Let's keep going okay, here. Okay, so time for the third box. This is going to be the main unit of uh, the whole thing. And I believe all you need to do is pull the box out. So we'll see what's, what's in there. Yep, it's the main chair itself. I think we might be able to just pull, pull it outside. And there it is. It's a fairly big chair. Um, so the room that you pick to place this in uh, needs a little bit of room or it can dominate the room in terms of its, uh, its size once the panels and everything come together. And we'll talk about its features uh, in a little bit, but I just wanted to show you, you know, as you open the box, what to expect and what the what's the kind of packaging you you can see or expect to get. Again, no, so far I don't see any any signs of any shipping damage or anything. Um, but we'll put this thing together and and find out. Uh, since we purchased this from Costco, they do have a really good return policy, which is what was encouraging for us um, in terms of you know actually making the purchase decision so if there's anything wrong with it we know costco has got our back uh, in terms of um, accepting a return but so far it looks looks good so let's keep going here okay so the unit is uh, heavy but we were finally able to get it out of the box and along with the main unit uh, it also contains this little box i believe it's going to have instructions and maybe other paperwork but we'll see what it actually contains it's uh, it's again completely sealed and it says Osaki on it. Okay, so it might actually contain tools and stuff. So we want to check this out first. So let's uh, open this. Yep, it got the, it's got the instruction manual. As you can see, it's the Osaki Pro Maestro and I see there is a power cord in there and also some of the the hardware that we would need to put it together. There's not a ton, actually it's quite minimal. So it looks like the, the installation is not gonna be too hard because there's not too many moving parts to this. Um, so let's take a quick look at what the instruction manual actually says. Okay, so it's got the product parts, before use, safety instructions, it's got an operation guide, some Q&A. Oh, that's nice. It also tells you how to do the cleaning and maintenance um, for it. Um, hopefully, it's nothing too hard, but yeah, 
that's basically what you're getting. We'll, we'll see more. Uh, this is the installation manual. So I think we'll need to take a look at this on how to actually put this thing together. So yeah, as I said earlier, it's got minimal hardware. So not a ton of screws and, and nuts and bolts. Uh, those are the main pieces that it comes with. They're the two side panels we got. This is the footrest and the main unit itself. Okay. So it is asking us to remove the side panel. Um, and then, okay, so then we have to plug in the main, main unit itself. And there are some steps here. I'm not gonna cover that in detail uh, right now. Um, but yeah, a few steps, yep. And then there are the latches and that's about it. So yeah, doesn't look too complicated. Let's, uh, let's get this thing started. Okay, so the first step was to actually attach to the main unit, the footrest. It was fairly easy. All we needed to do was there were these couple of plugs to be plugged in. You bring it together and then there is this latch here. You just put it in and this thing just slides in, you know, to just lock it in place. Uh, so that's the only two steps. Um, the whole thing is actually does have these chains to kind of Pull it out um, if you need to do some cleaning or while you're actually installing or putting it together. Um, but yeah, that's the first step. So this next step would be to put the panels together. Okay, so I just uh, installed the, the other side. And all you got to do is um, pull on the strap. It doesn't stay there. This is just for the first time installation. So you just pull on it and it exposes the, the, the places, you know, where you need to attach the whole panel into the chair. And uh, then there are a couple of hooks uh, down here, these right here, that actually sit on this rail. So all you gotta do is, you know, after you've attached uh, these uh, couple of, uh, I believe this is for the air, because it does have, um, you know, these, uh, what should I, air pillows, I think, I guess is what I can call it, uh, that it actually has to send the air into, so that's your hose for that. And this is the only electrical piece that goes in and and then you just uh, hang it on this rail using these latches and that's pretty much it. There's a whole video actually online by Osaki on how to actually install and get this thing together. I suggest you watch that video. It's been very handy for us. Um, and so let's get this next step done and we'll take a look at the chair. Okay, so the chair is finally all assembled. Um, and as you can see, it's a pretty big piece of furniture. Uh, it takes the entire corner of this this area of our room. And by the way, this room is fairly large, so um, which is why we chose the chair to be in this room. Um, so I just want to give you a quick look at the assembled product. Um, obviously, the chair needs to be attached to a power source. Uh, and then there is also a a power on button right there on the chair. Uh, so after you have, uh, you know, put that on, you need to turn that switch, this switch on, uh, in order for the chair to actually be activated and ready to use. You'll notice that uh, this L blue LED is glowing, which kind of indicates that my phone is actually paired with the chair uh, for using the speakers on, on this chair, which are actually very decent. Um, you know, I tried it earlier and it, uh, it works great. As I told you guys earlier, there are some quick access buttons on this chair. So here's your, your on off button. There is a USB uh, power source to charge your phone and whatnot, which is why you have this slot right here. You can you know hit the pause button. You have the auto program. You have the zero gravity position, and then you can increase the intensity of the 4D function, which is basically how hard the rollers on this chair uh, are actually pressing against your body. So you could, uh, you know, calibrate that uh, or increase or decrease that intensity. Uh, but in addition to these quick access controls, you also have the the corded remote control, which is right there, part of the chair. Um, you can use this for for uh, picking whichever program you want the chair to to use. So besides this, I also wanted to, you know, quickly show you that on this chair, this uh, padding on the head 
is actually optional. You could unfold it that way and you know have more of a direct access to the rollers that are behind it. Um, depends on you know what is your preference. It's a personal preference thing. Um, or you can just put it this way and, and use the, the pad, but you won't feel the, the rollers so close to your head if you were to use that pad, for example. So just to kind of show you what the chair does, um, you know, in terms of its actual operation, if I, right now it's in standby mode, so it's powered on, but in standby, so it's not doing anything. Uh, and you will notice that this red LED is glowing on and off. So if I were to hit this button, uh, it instantly goes into active mode. So you will see that the Osaki logo is getting projected onto the floor, uh, which kind of indicates that the chair is ready for ready for use. Um, the moment you sit down on the chair, the first thing it does, it actually calibrates itself to your body type, uh, your height and, and whatnot, um, because the rollers on this, it's an L-track chair. So basically the rollers are coming this way and then going under your glutes. Uh, so you know, it's going to see, you know, how far the rollers go, need to go back and forth, where your shoulders are and whatnot. So that scanning takes place. Uh, first time, it, it takes about a minute to do that. And then once it has completed it, it's going to say, okay, I'm ready. I have a measure of you and you can pick the program and I can start massaging your body. So the moment I'd, I've done that, I could just hit auto and I could get a predefined uh, massage on, on this chair. Or I could actually pick something different uh, from, from the menu here. I can target my neck and shoulder area. I can target my lower back. I can have an auto program, which is basically the same thing as that button. Or I could have a manual massage. Um, and then there are some advanced settings, both for the air massage as well as some you know, generalist. And I'll show you that in a second. So if I were to just give you a sense, if I pick neck and shoulder, I can then pick that, you know, I, these are some sub options, right? For that are basically targeting your neck and shoulder. So this is a relaxing massage versus Shiatsu, which is a little bit more intense. And I really like that program. Uh, although you have a recover and rolling. So the chair behaves kind of differently depending on the program you have picked. Uh, so that's, uh, uh, that's that. And then there's a lower back option. So people with, with lower back problems, which was part of the reason we got the chair, um, you know, ha you can actually pick a relaxed mode, uh, a kidney care or a deep tissue. Uh, my personal favorite so far in this uh, list lineup has been deep tissue, although I have not tried all of them yet, but I really like the deep tissue um, massage on this chair. Um, so let's see. You also have the auto, as I said earlier, but in terms of uh, the advanced settings, if we take a quick look, um, the massage that it gives you typically lasts about 15 minutes, which is why you see that 15 up there. Um, and then after 15 minutes, the massage is over by itself. And then you got to pick another program and, and restart it again, uh, which in my estimation is pretty decent. Um, you know, you don't want the chair to just keep going for hours. Um, or you can have, you know, sort of more uh, specific control over the heating. This chair uh, on the rollers that go on this L track are heated so that's the only heating you get from the chair it's like not, not like a you know a heated chair in a car for example that the entire butt on, on you know on the chair uh, this area is going to get warmed up or the entire back area is getting warmed up it's basically the rollers that are getting warm uh, which is what the principle is behind shiatsu the japanese style massage so that's what is getting getting warm and giving you that heat so that's the the heating aspect so you can control that or you can control the fast pump, which is basically the the air massage, the air pumps uh, or the, you know, the air pillows uh, that this chair has. Um, and then you also have control over calf kneading. This was one of the highlights of this chair. Not a lot of chairs have that uh, because this thing, uh, you know, on the center, actually, you know, each one of this is, is basically a air pillow, right? So the air is actually getting pumped in into this air pillow. And, and then it, it just, you know, sort of uh, grabs your, your, your calf. And then the whole thing right here starts moving. So it's just giving you a kneading effect on your calf. And of course, at the bottom, you're, you're putting your, your feet into those slots. And there are rollers inside that's going to give you that, uh, that massage on, the, on your feet. Um, it's a fairly well padded, um, um, you know, area. 
Uh, so I think as far as uh, feet size is concerned, uh, unless you are a giant, uh, you would probably not fit in. But for most people, you know, with a feet size of uh, even like 13, 14, I think you should be able to fit in, or it'll be a pretty snug fit. But for the average people with, you know, 11, 12 uh, foot size US um, should be should be very decent. But I think the max is 14 from what I read. Um, so that's uh, this part. And then, you know, once I turn this on, as I said earlier, uh, it gives you a lot of control over what you want massage. So let's just quickly take a look at the, the various air pillows, as I'm calling them. So right here, uh, this thing right here actually is an air pillow. So it, it kind of fills in with air and it, it basically you know, uh, takes uh, your arm and, and gives a massage to your arm area. Um, depending on your liking, you might not like this. Um, some members of my family didn't really like this. Others did. Uh, so it's a very personal preference thing. And then these things are also air pillows. So they are filled up with air as well. And uh, they're not like always inflated. Um, each one of them inflates at a different time, depending on the exercise program you have picked. And... Um, so that's uh, that's generally you know what to expect, and the rollers of course you know they're going up and down the entire length of the chair. Uh, let me sh quickly show you the zero gravity position as well. So if I hit the zero gravity position, you'll see that the chair starts actually moving and is adopting a zero gravity position. So you know this part is actually going is growing taller. So your 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 legs are getting. Um, you know, kind of falling in place. And you, the, this is the, the final zero gravity position. And the idea behind the zero gravity position is basically that, uh, you know, you your body has the least stress in terms of, um, you know, it's gravity that, that's, that's uh, you know, working on your body. I'm not sure about the exact physics of how this works, but that's the general principle that it's giving you a position which apparently the astronauts going into space have when they are seated in in a spacecraft um, at least that's what i read um, so that's the position you're getting and and then the massage program obviously starts and and you're taking and you're enjoying basically a massage at that point um i think that's about it as far as uh, the position is concerned i mean other than that uh, there are quite a few program oriented things. There is a mobile app uh, that Osaki has. Uh, we have uh, tried both the, um, the the Android version as well as the iOS version. I generally use the iOS version and it works wonderfully well. In my opinion, uh, the, the end user interface on the mobile app is actually better than on the remote control. So if I were to take, you know, take a massage, I would probably reach out for my phone and control the chair from my phone rather than uh, uh, using using the the remote control right there the user interface is is i think I believe it's in either japanese or chinese i can't tell uh, but it's very intuitive you know because there are so many icons in there you can tell what what you're doing um, and if there is a lot of interest i can make a separate video on how to use the mobile app to control the chair i haven't seen any content online you know about that so if you guys are interested uh, do leave me a comment below and i can plan on making a video separately for that uh, so that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, uh, enjoyed this chair. It is an investment, but if you, um, you know, are, are like me, uh, then then I think you are basically investing your own well-being. So, thank you, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.